take that big goal, break it down, and then what do you need to do practically every single day to start hitting those milestones? Champ, welcome to Chief here, a professional problem solver coming to you live for another episode of Wake and Make. Today, we're going to talk about fear of success. Fear of success. How is it that people are afraid of success? A lot of times, I feel like this is not logical until I realize that I have the same fear. So, let me share with you some practical steps on how to challenge the fear of success. The first step is to really challenge your negative self talk. A lot of times, we come up with worst case scenario that keeps running in our head, running in our mind like a soap opera that never stops. What are the chances of this actually becoming reality? Step number two is to open your eyes for opportunities. Opportunities are everywhere, but when we are afraid of success, we don't see them as opportunities. We see them as challenges. We see them as something that is not easy and we talk ourselves out of it before we even explore all of the possibilities. Step number three, just do it. Do it anyways. The idea is useless until you actually implement it, until you take action. We need to understand one thing. Fear is going to try to stick with us until the end. Whatever you feed grows. Whatever you starve dies. It's extremely important to make sure that we face our fear. Because once when we do that, we realize that it wasn't that scary. Facing every fear allows us to expand on our threshold. Step number four is avoid talking to people who are not successful about success. So what I suggest when you experience fear of success is to find people who are already successful at what you're trying to be successful and uh, surround yourself with them. I'd like to challenge you to determine where do you get your influence from? Who is the person in the closest proximity with me? That person influences you whether you like it or you don't. Number two, who is the person of authority who has control over your life? We all have that person. Number three, who is the person that inspires you? Who is the person that you try to uh, become? So those three people are your main center of influence. A lot of times, fear of success could be coming from one of those three people or all three of them. Number five, focus on your why. Why is it important for you to achieve this dream and who loses when you don't win? Let me tell you, if money is your motivation, your drive will die eventually. Number six, stay in now. A lot of time, anxiety will drive us to constantly predict the future, okay? Not everything in your imagination will take place in the future. A lot of times, the things that we expect, 95% of them don't happen. Keep that data in mind. Number seven is build an action plan. When you have fear of success, it's because you have lack of education. It's because you don't understand it. Take that big goal, break it down, and then what do you need to do practically every single day to start hitting those milestones? When you simplify any big job to small, simple tasks, everything looks easy. Let's make it a great day and check out Give to Get Mastermind.